We're gonna watch Gavin Bob because I got interested when he mentioned them. I got I got interested in Gavin Bob. Uh, we're gonna watch this one, a box in the void. Be sure to give it a like. Well, obviously we're gonna watch it. But um, this will be the last react, and then we'll go on to games. We might be playing some path today and stuff like that. But um, the only reason I keep mentioning this is I want to make it clear. That is how I react to cute things. Is I start mimicking them kind of the same way you you talk to a baby with goo goo ga -gas, and how you talk to a dog with woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. gavin bob and really good boys too gavin bob are good boys too wonderful i can't wait gav smith was part of the imperial guard they look he was terrifying a guardsman. <laughs> And this made Gav very happy. Gav liked being a guardsman, because then he could do the will of the immortal god emperor, and that was one of Gav's most favorite things to do in the whole world. I only have one statement to make. If he's supposed to be a good boy, and, and, and how he's describing him is he's an innocent child. Why does he have a skull with a headshot in it? Today it was Gav's turn to fetch the huge sack of potatoes from the food wagon and to peel them. Gav liked to do this because he also liked eating potato peel. The commissar said Gav was a good ogrin because Gav did all the things that he was told to do. This made Gav very happy. The commissar was not like He's proud other of that commissars headshot. I mean, because he did not shout. I mean, and I shoot suppose people for being scared of you things be like small spaces. I, I, I mean, if that's the only headshot you ever got, you, I'd be proud too. Because Gav did not like small spaces, and Gav was scared of the dark, because that was when nightmares came to get you. The Commissar was Gav's friend. The Commissar was not an ogrin like Gav, and was really smart, and could read and write, and Gav could not do that, because it was too hard. Not even the Sarge could read long words. But the Commissar said that that was okay, because Gav was better at killing orcs than he was. This made Gav very happy, because Gav liked to be useful. Everyone likes to, help to be useful. The potatoes, Bob. Bob was one of Gav's friends. They had come from the same tribe on the planet Barakak. Gav missed his tribe. When the war against the orcs was over, he would be able to go back home. Or if more than ten years was over. It had been nearly two years, and they had nearly won. The Commissar said this was because Gav and his friends were such good fighters, and they were making the Emperor happy by killing nasty orcs. The Commissar's name was Larrykin von Kelvestein. But he said that Gav and his- What the f- That's a- that's- That's a fancy name. His friends could call him Ari if they wanted to, you can call him because Harry. they were all friends. Yes, please. I want to be his friend. Said Bob. Bob liked eating potato peel too. Potato For breakfast, peel. it was mashed potato potatoes. Potatoes or god tears. We all do a food tier list. Two and mushy peas. I want y'all to Gav know. did not like mushy peas. Peas should come in a pod, and they should not be mushy. Not mushy. Gav had used to grow peas for his Agreed. tribe. Gav missed his tribe. But he also had such wonderful friends here as well. It was good to have friends. Especially when you had to kill orcs. Gav I think we should all be happy that not one... Like, orcs don't believe they're invincible. You realize that's all it takes. Is one day, like, they get shot or something, and it doesn't hurt. Like, it hits the wrong part of their skin or something. And it doesn't hurt. And that, and a lot of other orcs see it and start believing he's invincible. Boop. All it takes is a few of those. And everything goes wrong. Because from what I understand, 
things that they believe happen. Mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, and french fries all top tier. I think you win better. Waffle fries. I've killed orcs with a big las cannon. The commissar said it was a gift from the emperor, so Gav kept it clean and shiny, and made sure that he did not put it down somewhere and forget where. But sometimes he did. Oh no! But then the commissar would come and tell him where he had lost it. It's making me feel so cold out though. It, and then he would tell Gav not to do it again. But Gav always did, even though he never meant to. This made Gav sorry. Poor Bob Gav. killed orcs with a las cannon as well, but Bob did not lose his so much. Gav sometimes wished he was as good at not losing things as Bob was. The commissar did not have a big shiny gun like Gav. All Larry had was a small long las rifle, but that was okay, because the Arry was very small. Commissar Arry was very clever, because he had been everywhere and done everything. Are Ogrids just the, the Emperor's version of the works? They're just sweet, wholesome beings. <laughs> Don't underestimate potato peels, though. Fry them up with some spicy salt and oh, yes! make a great Oh, yes! That's snack. what I was saying! Like, there is nothing that a potato can't do. I, don't, I want you to understand. Potatoes are this world's god, too. Not Ambrosia, no. Once, he had stood on a landmine, and one of his legs was made of metal, and it went clonk when he kicked a stone. Gav was happy. Even the father died. Bing a bing Look at me, mommy, one of the time. Be that his foot is not made of metal, because it sounds cold. Bob liked having potato peeling contests with Gav. Gav kept on losing, but Gav did not mind. Because he was peeling and potatoes so, uh, for the, the weather, I will. Gav loved fighting. He Shit. wished he was better at it. <laughs> Whenever he sparred with Bob, he always ended up knocked out. But he didn't mind. He knew that Bob was helping him get better. And the better he got, the better Gav could serve the immortal emperor. Health wombo combo. Yeah. Gav hated the small tank he had to ride in. Every time he was called to serve the emperor, he had to ride in that scary, dark place. But it was all right, because Bob was there, and he'd lead all the other Ogrin in a rousing chorus of De Emperor is the best. Oh. You say they're different than all humans in every way, but I'm, I'm sorry, but their heart is like 11 times bigger. They only knew the chorus anyway. But it helped the dark, tight place seem less scary. The flashing lights always made Gav happy. That meant he was going to serve his emperor. That meant the door would open, and he'd be able to shoot his gun. Gav loved his gun. He loved it when he fired it, and the enemy died. He'd hold down the trigger and shout at the enemy, making them die in the name of his emperor, his best friend, Bob. Right beside him. Oh my God. He liked Bob. I like Bob, Bob too. Bob was his best friend. Gav had fought all kinds of enemies of the Emperor. His favorite were the Greenskins, because they seemed to like fighting as much as Gav did. He knew to go for the big ones, the one who was hitting all the others. It was a race to see who would kill the big one first. Bob usually won. If you killed the big one, the regular orcs would be easier to beat. The bug. Wait. Nope, I don't know that much about Gav. orcs, so I can't. I they can't made comment him on sick that. to his stomach, especially when he slammed the butt of his gun against their head, and they blew up all over him. How can be one be so violent yet so wholesome? They smelled bad, and tasted bad. I will look. I you will look at bugs. Space Santa. Don't worry. Not even the stumpies can make them taste good. The pant stealers were the worst. Gav the pant stealers? Always made sure his belt was extra tight Calm when down. he fought pant stealers. 
The humans who turned against the Emperor always made Gav extra angry. Why would they stop loving the Emperor? What did the Emperor do to them, except love them and protect them? Gav always loved killing bad humans. It made him feel good. Commissar Ari said that was good. Being angry against traitors was good. That made Gav happy. When Ari first told Gav that, he'd hug Ari so hard, he'd had to stay in the Medicaid hotel for a week. The food was really good when Gav visited. Oh no, he hugged him so hard he was in the medical bay for a week. Don't they have like super good medicine or something? I don't know. He's just like a big, like, wholesome, like, Hulk. <laughs> Gav had only faced the metalheads once, but he knew that he never wanted to do it again. No matter how hard you hit them, they just get back up again. It wasn't fair. Every other enemy was kind enough to die when you showed them how bad. Kind enough to die? What? <laughs> bad they were. The metalheads were cheaters. Metalheads are cheaters. Like that. I agree. How dare Bob they not said die? That Harry said that his professor Kane at the big school was scared of the metalheads. Gaff didn't believe him. Commissars aren't scared of anything, and Kane is some kind of super commissar. He must melt metalheads with his eyes or something. <laughs> Gav hated the Eldar. They were like shiny bugs. You'd almost get your hands on them and they'd slip through your fingers. Their little arrows hurt too. Bob was better at fighting Eldar than Gav. He'd back them into a corner and crush their mushy bodies with his bare hands. They break easy once you corner them, Bob would say, shiny blood covering his uniform. That made Gav smile. He missed Bob. Bob always made him smile. No, I don't like you anything, Chesh. Shut up! Gav was there the day that Ari died. One day, Gav and Bob and all their friends had gone for a walk. They were walking through a forest. Gav liked the forest because it smelled like home. Ari was walking at the back of them. He always did this to make sure none of them got lost. Gav once got lost. It had made him scared. Ari never got lost. He was really smart like that. But then an orc, all dressed like a tree, shot him. Gav did not see it happen. He could not stop it. The sound of Ari dying had warned them all. They had killed the nasty orcs with the big guns the Emperor had given them. But Ari was dead. They took him back to the camp to see if the flesh fixer could fix him. He tried, but Ari had already gone to the Emperor. This made the whole tribe sad. Everyone in the tribe liked Ari. Ari was smart. They dug a hole for Ari to sleep in. Bob was the priest of the tribe, so Bob said the death words over the place where Ari slept. Wow. The whole tribe wept. They did not weep for Ari, because Ari was with the Emperor. They wept for themselves, because they had been left behind. Losing Ari was bad, but losing Bob made Gav sadder than ever. Go Bob! Bob was the reason Gav hated demons as much as he did. Hug 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 big he sispo cat before, one heart. And he found them to be so confusing. Hug, hug. Some of them were easy, charging or shambling forward with big swords or small daggers. They broke easy. The skinny ones were like Eldar, but they made Gav feel weird. Looking at them was like looking at a girl ogrin after Gav had learned what they were for. But they broke easier than the red skin or rotting demons. What Once you could stop them from dancing. The last demons were the kind that took Bob. He hated them most of all. He hated their laughing at him. They'd surprised them after Bob and Gav had been leading their new commissar. Gav could never remember his name into a church to the Emperor. Gav had a headache the whole time. They'd made the place bad. They'd broken statues of the Emperor and carved a weird flame all over the church. That's when the demons had attacked.
They burned the Commissar before any of Gav's groups could react. They looked like water that had grown faces. Looking at those faces made Gav's nose bleed. Gav would never forget those faces. Bob rushed into the thick of things, like he always did. Bob was always that way, charging forward for the Emperor, killing his enemies. Bob was good at that. He was a good friend. The water demons were fast, really fast. They jumped back and burned Bob to a crisp. But Bob didn't die like the Commissar. Gav sometimes felt bad that he couldn't remember the Commissar's name. He hoped someone remembered the Commissar's name. Bob caught one of the water demons with his hands and ripped it apart. It was pink before, and it had been happy, laughing. Now the two pieces were blue, and they weren't happy anymore. They weren't happy anymore. They attacked Bob and bit at him. The other tribe had started killing the other water demons, but they were too late. Bob's last words always made Gav sad. I'm going to miss the potato skins. Gav beat the blue water oh. demons until he was slamming his hands into the floor of the church. He kept it up until he realized his hands were bleeding. Oh no. He kept doing it until he realized he was crying. He kept crying until the general had found them. Gav still misses Bob. Bob was a good friend. Gav had never wanted to kill one of his friends. The general was a friend, but he wanted to kill the general once. He wanted to kill the general when he said that Bob needed to be burned. The tribe had their ways. Bob needed to be honored and buried like all good friends. But the general said that Bob's body was sick, that if they didn't burn it, those water demons could come back. They burned Bob's body right there in that church. But not before Gav got his tribe together and gave him a short, proper funeral. Gav was Bob's best friend. His other tribesmen let him give the last words. Bob was a good friend. Bob's a good friend. He liked to fight. He liked potato skins. Potato skins! He was a good soldier for the Emperor. Now he's with the Emperor. Then one of the General's friends burned Bob's body right there in the Emperor's church. Now whenever Gav peels potatoes, he thinks of Bob. Aww. It doesn't hurt as bad anymore. Now he smiles and remembers how good a friend Bob was. Bob's a good friend. Bob always made Gav smile. Even when he was dead. He could make Gav smile. Gav couldn't eat another potato skin. It didn't taste good anymore. Oh no! Gav remembered the day he found the bad man who brought the water demons to the world. He would never forget that day. Oops. It was a week after Bob had been burned at the church. Bob was a good friend. Bob was a good the friend. The bad man had made an entire planet stop loving the Emperor. He was one of the space marines that had stopped loving the Emperor. He was blue and gold and made Gav's head hurt when he spoke. Gav hated him more than anything he'd felt about before. Except how much he liked Bob. The bad man had taken over one of the big churches on the planet. He was killing people to make more water demons. Gav wanted to stop him. He wanted to make the bad man pay for killing Bob. Yeah. Bob had been such a good friend. Probably to later Gav the warning. Would make the but if you keep pay. watching Gav and Bob, you will cry. I'm already crying. A lot of Gav's human friends died to get to the bad man. The bad man had brought his friends with him. His friends killed a lot of Gav's friends. That only made Gav hate the bad man more. His fellow guardsmen slowly made it closer to the big church. Gav wasn't scared of his small tank anymore. He was angry. He would make the bad man pay. Foolish Dallard. You hardly deserve to be considered sentient. The bad man used big words. His voice made Gav's head hurt. His eyes bled. But he continued to try to run towards the bad man. Gav's tank had been blown up. And a lot of his friends were dead. They'd been good friends but not as good as Bob. Bob was Gav's best friend, 
all this Gav would brain. make the bad man pay. The bad man was as big as Gav. He was standing on top of a big set of stairs, right at the entrance to the church. He made Gav's human friends die with lightning, and he laughed. Gav hated it when the bad man laughed. He wanted to make the bad man shut up forever. The bad man struck Gav with the lightning. It hurt. It hurt real bad. Gav almost stopped running up the stairs. But then he remembered Bob. Bob wouldn't stop running. Fun fact, Bob Ogryn would keep weapons going. are set to semi-automatic because if it was be fully like automatic, they would dump Gav the entire to make the, the second man the pay. battle starts. Gav would always remember the day he walked with little godlings. The bad men in the blue and gold armor were hard to kill, and they used heresy and magic. That made Gav hate them. Gav heard whispering in his head. They whispered how he could have everything he ever wanted. But they had nothing he wanted. They had taken a friend from him. Gav roared at them, and the bad men had died when he shot them. They could not whisper to him. His mind was too full of the Emperor's love. But they were too hard to kill, and they kept coming back. But the Emperor had sent his children to help him. The Emperor had a lot of children, and they were all very strong. All of the Emperor's children were little godlings. Gav and the tribe fought with them. They were very hairy, and had teeth that were just like Gav's teeth. They had armor just like the bad men, but it was grey and blue. Gav wished he could wear armor like that. Oh, he just wants armor. When the war was over, the godlings in the grey armor gave gifts to the tribe. They said the Emperor loved them very much. Aww. Then they sang songs for the dead. Evolution has left you behind, scum. It's a pity you're too unintelligent to understand just how foolish you are. The bad man wouldn't stop talking. Gav swung his big fists at him, but the bad man was fast. Faster than Gav thought he should be. Gav was getting tired, trying to hit him. The bad man hit him with his big staff. Gav went flying into a statue of the Emperor, shattering it. Hug hug Boka Bokath one heart, BRB. He wanted to apologize okay. to the Emperor for breaking his statue, but he couldn't catch his breath. His entire body hurt. He'd never oh, hurt so no bad in his life. You can do it, Gav! The bad man was kneeling beside him. He grabbed Gav's neck and squeezed. I pity you, poor creature. No! Oh. For this, you shall get the kindness of a quick death. Gav lifted himself up suddenly and headbutted the bad man. Ha! You killed Bob! He shouted. He grabbed the bad man by the throat and lifted him up, driving his fist into the bad man's stomach. You killed Bob! The bad man shot lightning at him, but Gav hardly felt it. He was angry. Bob was a good friend, and the bad man's demons had killed him. Gav would make the bad man pay. The bad man kicked and punched at Gav, but Gav wouldn't let go. His arms hurt from holding the bad man up. You killed Bob! He tossed the bad man onto his stomach and jumped on top of him, grabbing his strange helmet and slamming his head down into the concrete. Again, and again, and again. Go, you Gav! Bob. Slam. You killed Bob! Slam. You killed Bob! Yeah, you killed Bob! Slam. Gav was crying now. Bob had been a good friend. You killed Bob! Slam. The bad man wasn't moving now. You killed Bob! Slam. The bad man's helmet was leaking this strange powder. You killed Bob! Oh no! Slam. 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 He was still slamming the empty armor into the ground when the Emperor's grey children came. His skin was burned and blackened. His eyes were bleeding as he cried, and every bone in his hands were broken. But he'd made the bad man pay. You make the bad man pay. Wait, there's three episodes of Gavin Bob? That better not die in any of these. 
Gaz my child now. There are five in total. Oh my god. But yeah, this is good. Very good. I, lo I love me some Gavin Bob and I love Agri. They're adorable. You can't hear the video? Do not tell me I watched this whole thing and you can't hear it. Well, God, please tell me that's not true. I can't fake first watches. Wait, 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 wait. Hey guys, come watch me at twitch.tv slash book of the Well, kill me. Okay, now we can. <laughs> Baka. All right, guys, have fun. Oh, oh crap, rappers, I messed it up. Rappers, here we go. You guys, have fun. I Baka love is you. very tiny.